Okay, what we got here? Running light engine on the test track. Um, yeah, that these two out. One of them uh, has not run since last year, since July. So for that time, I remedied that. And these are the two that are running through. Um, you got Royal Scott which is the Royal in Skinning Fusilier and the Patriot class which is Private um, W Wood VC which is stands for Victoria Cross if you know your history right so they're both in the EBR green um, I've had these both since about 2009 so what's that that's about 25 years, uh, 25 years, uh, 2009, 2019, about 15 years ago, I bought these, and um, look how beautiful they run, they run on the um, attic layout that I used to have, uh, so they have had a bit of use, but at the moment they both seem to be running lovely, don't they? Um, so yeah, they're running light. Um, I've added uh, embellishments to them. On uh, this one, it's got the um, vacuum brake pipe and the coupling, coupling hook and that. And um, that one's got it on the back there, but I think it's missing on the front. But they're both beautifully named engines. Um, and as I say, uh, that's after a guy who was awarded the Victoria Cross for his bravery during uh, the Second World War. Um, I don't know the details of him. I should really. But I bought it because I like the nameplate and the idea of having a named engine. And this one, um, again, to do with uh, um, rolling getting usually that's a, a regiment, uh, I think. So. Yeah, then the BR Green. Uh, this one's got the late cr early crest on it, lying on the unicycle. That's the Patriot class locomotive. In that detail. And um, this one's got the late crest British Railways on it. Okay. And I've got them running as a consist at 12. Speed 12. Let's assume it's 12. 12 mile an hour in scale speed. I don't know exactly what it is, you know. But um, yeah, I just stuck these two out. Uh, I'll give them an airing, check over. There was a guy on the internet who's got one of these Royal Scots. Not this exact one, a different engine, different running number. And he's got the dreaded chassis rot on his one. Okay, so we'll have to see I got them out for that reason actually to check to see if there was chassis rock because they both kept, both these models came out at the same time and the chassis is actually cracked and bent and um, it's even called the cab to split. Now I've got that on class 31 and I've had a brief look at these upside down and moved the um, bogey wheels out of the way to check mine and they both seem to be okay. I was, I think I've got away with it but if you've got chassis rot and um, it just crumbles and basically you need a new chassis for it which means removing all the ancillaries taking the motor off the cylinders off you know the valve gear's got to come off everything's got to come off that's connected to that chassis the wheels out and it's you know obviously uh, and that's even if you can obtain a a bare chassis for it i don't know if you can um i think hornby were aware of it and they got on top of it but it's a supply from china you see that's what's caused it um if the supply from china is um no good uh then this is it's not necessarily i would say hornby's fault i'm just keeping an eye on the tension there to see which engines doing the pushing and pulling it seems just yeah i'll look at they're now under tension again, but uh, 46120 was pushing slightly. Of course, they'll have the same motor in it. And uh, they're both fitted with Gage Master decoders, which are beautiful 
um, slightly better than the lace ones I use the colors you can't get them anymore they're DCC 29s all right but they they run lovely so um, yeah there's no clicking noise coming from the motion or anything all you can hear is just very quietly you know the maybe the tender wheels rubbing on each loco but uh, yeah happy with these and um, I've got a maintenance record for these now I'll keep it going uh, unfortunately one of them's lost this part see that there that's this engine here on the other side that see that brass thing in the mid brass that it's plastic actually it's these drain pipes from the cylinder they are actually missing and I think I might have even fitted those on the wrong way round but um, yeah one one set of those is missing on this so if you look look you, you'll see it's missing there's some holes under there and it's just fallen off that's what happens with model railways you bits fall off a bit like me really <laughs> anyway um, we'll bring them to a stop in a minute and take in the fabulous detail of these two locos um, and that's the boxes that Hongbu were using at the time they've got much bigger sturdier boxes and uh, they've just announced um, they're they're getting close to getting a prototype Deltic done which I'm very interested in even though I've got the Batman one so we'll we'll see about that it's die cast metal so let's stop bring these two to a halt we'll try and get them on the straight I'll stop it about there I think so we can get them both in on a sort of a straightish line there you go see look that's the control that's one you've got and stop superb control with these uh, decoders so yeah all the um, nice detail there this these guys are in their traditional blue uniform that I seem to think that BR drivers and firemen used to wear I've probably got that wrong but I just stuck to it really this sort of navy blue colour uh, with a blue tack holding them in place I could paint that black really I might do that one day and get round to it you know and disguise that paint all that bottom area black so you wouldn't even know that was there the um, straw lining this is with the late crest on it um, rivet detail on the tender I think the tenders are probably identical um, for each loco I could swap these over and you wouldn't know yeah I would say I could swap these round and um, this could have the late crest and that one could have the early one anyway they've both got double chimneys first thing I, I didn't realize they've both got double chimneys they've all got sprung buffers on them but you can see the similarities with these bodies can't you the only slight difference is the cabs they're, they're different that's got the two window panes there. See them? I'll point that out with a screwdriver. That's the first big difference there. Two windows there. Have a look at Royal Scott's cab. One window there and there's no window there in the curved section. There never was a window in on the Royal Scott. There's two Royal Scots preserved. Scott Smart, Guardsman and Royal Scott itself and no Patriot class survived the cut it's torch okay a little bit of trivia but uh, yeah back to the models um that's uh, this part is the same this sort of like round bit there it goes along lovely detail there on the uh, thing i don't know why that went off i think that's because the battery's going so we'll have to end it in a minute um and there's the private W Wood VC nameplates and that's the same parts there so we're going to have to stop this before it goes off I've fitted the vacuum brake pipes on these so we'll set these off and say goodbye sorry about the abrupt ending but that's down to uh, battery levels um, I hope you enjoyed this 9 minute one, 10 minute one and um, We'll see you again. This has got, um, oh, I'll just point out.